Hi, Football Mania, back again with us, which will present the latest football news today. The first news is news from Klopp sends warning to former Liverpool now at Newcastle. Jurgen Klopp sent a warning to the ex-Liverpool analyst at Newcastle that he would play a different strategy than he already knew against the Magpies. Liverpool are doing very well right now. They were even able to bulldoze a tense schedule throughout the month of April. Now that period will end and close with the match against Newcastle. On paper, Liverpool are certainly seated to win over Eddie Howe's team. They are different in position. Liverpool are in second place while Newcastle are now ninth in the 2021-22 Premier League standings. Newcastle itself is now changing quite drastically. All happened after the change of owner from Mike Ashley to the hands of a consortium from Saudi Arabia. Newcastle also changed coaches and also brought in a number of new players. In addition, they also brought in a number of behind-the-scenes staff, including former Liverpool analyst Mark Leyland in December 2021 yesterday. Ahead of the match against Newcastle, Jurgen Klopp finally gave a warning to Leyland. He told the former head of post-match analyst that all his knowledge about Liverpool would be useless in the match. They're on an incredible run. When our analysis meeting starts we always look at the last 10 to 12 result. Green is when you win, red is when you lose. It's like green, green, green then red, red, red. Then more green, he said as reported by the Liverpool Echo. They were obviously in a really good moment and Eddie played a big part in that. They hired one of our analysts, that must be a big part too I must say. Mark, if you see this, we will play a completely different team, said Klopp. Newcastle had previously been almost entangled in relegation, but they then got up and moved away from the danger zone. This cannot be separated from the combination of the rise of the old players plus the help of new players. Jurgen Klopp then praised Newcastle for the positive changes they have shown so far. They did very well and signed some good players. It will happen in the future, 100%, with the power that Newcastle have now. There will be a lot of changes, that's clear, but for this season, they've made smart moves. They've brought in good players and have stability. The players who were there before, where the Newcastle fans might have thought, oh my god, when is he going to? Small changes can be made, said Klopp. Next Liverpool match schedule. Mash, Newcastle vs Liverpool venue, St. James's Park Day, Saturday April 30th, 2022. The next news is news from, Liverpool star Mohamed Salah selected as FWA player of the year 2021-22. Liverpool star Mohamed Salah has just been selected for the 2022 FWA player of the year award. Salah deserves this award. This Egyptian player has stood out from other players in the Premier League this season. From the start, Salah stepped on the gas right away. And now even though his goal machine has stalled, he has already scored 22 goals in the Premier League stage. He is the current top scorer of the EPL. Not only that, Salah also topped the list of the most assisting providers in the league with a collection of 13 assists. All that he incised in just 31 matches. FWA announcement The announcement of Mohamed Salah's victory in the FWA Player of the Year award was announced on Friday, April 29, 2022. However, at this time Salah will not receive the award in person. He will receive the award in a special ceremony on May 5, 2022. Not only Salah, FWA also gave the Best Player Award to Chelsea women's striker, Sam Kerr. At M.O. Salah as Player of the Year for the second time, and at Sam Kerr 1 has been voted Women's Player of the Year. Congratulations to the at LFC and at Chelsea FCW Strikers. Awards will be presented on May 5th at our annual dinner. There are many names that are nominated for the Best Player Award by journalists in the UK. Besides Mohamed Salah, there are Kevin De Bruyne and Declan Rice. These players are selected based on a voting system. Salah got 48% of the vote. While Manchester City midfielder De Bruyne is in second position and West Ham midfielder Rice is in third position. Meanwhile, Sam Kerr also dominates in the Women's Footballer of the Year sector. He was ahead of Arsenal's Vivian Midema and Manchester City's Lauren Hemp. This year, specifically for the Women's Footballer of the Year voting, all FWA members have full access to cast their votes. Previously, voting was submitted to a panel consisting of a team of experts. FWA chairman Kerry Brown said the award went to Mohamed Salah and Sam Kerr for obvious reasons. They have been outstanding for Liverpool and Chelsea women throughout this season. 
Both Mo and Sam have been outstanding this season, breaking records for club and country. In addition to their performances on the pitch, they are leaders and standard bearers of excellence in their respective clubs and leagues, he told FWA's official website. The fact that they have won by a convincing margin underscores how impressive they have been this season which our members have acknowledged. Meanwhile for Mohamed Salah, the Football Writers Association Footballers of the Year award is the second award he has received throughout his career with Liverpool. Previously he won it in the 2018 season. The next news is news. Failed to UCL, Manchester United. Manchester United's plan to woo Declan Rice in this summer's transfer market is unlikely to come true. This is because the Red Devils will most likely not qualify for the UCL next season. Manchester United are planning to buy a new defensive midfielder in the summer. This is because they will be left by Nemanja Modic in the summer. Manchester United have reportedly pocketed a potential replacement for Modic. He is Declan Rice who is currently playing at West Ham. Reported by the Manchester Evening News, Manchester United must forget their plans to sign Rice. This is because United most likely will not qualify for the UCL next season. According to the report, United's failure to qualify for the UCL will have an impact on their transfer funds in the summer. Manchester United's management has indeed provided a large enough budget for Ten Hag to spend this summer. But this number is rumored to be slightly reduced if they do not qualify for the UCL. As a result, Ten Hag has to be smart to save money, because there are several players he has to buy in the summer. With a limited transfer budget, buying a player like Rice becomes difficult to achieve. Because Rice is priced at £150 million by West Ham. This figure almost covers all of MU's spending funds in the summer. As a result, Mew must look for another midfielder who is more affordable in the summer. According to a number of reports, Mew has pocketed several names that could replace Rice. The name Calvin Phillips is the leading name to become the new Manchester United midfielder next season. Rumors of hunting for a new Manchester United striker entered a new chapter. The Red Devils are now reportedly starting to explore the transfer of Paulo Dybala. Manchester United have an agenda to buy a new striker in the summer. This is because the Red Devils will part with Edinson Cavani whose contract expires in the summer. So far. Many strikers have been linked with Manchester United. Ranging from potential young strikers to world-class strikers have been linked with Mew. ESPN reports that United are setting their radar on Italy. They are trying to sign Paolo Dybala. Rumors of Manchester United's interest in Dybala is a story that has been circulating for a long time. United have been interested in the striker since 2019. At that time Manchester United almost brought Dybala to Old Trafford. But for one or two things the transfer failed. Eric Ten Hag also reportedly likes the striker. So he asked Mew management to secure the services of the striker. According to the same report, Manchester United will go all out to sign Dybala this summer. This is because the striker will be a free agent. So they do not have to pay a transfer fee that is too expensive. So they are ready to compete with other teams who are interested in Dybala's services in the summer. According to reports circulating, there is one club that is a tough competitor for Manchester United for the transfer of Dybala. The striker is reportedly being tempted by Inter Milan to move to the Giuseppe Miazza in the summer.